Hi, my name is Randy Lovejoy and I'm the author of God in La La Land and we're right here this morning in Echo Park Lake right in the middle of Los Angeles. Now many people have experienced Christianity as being divisive, that is as separating people. But if you look at the history of Christianity and even if you look at just a couple of stories of Christianity in this city, you see that that's not always the case. Many people have heard about Billy Graham's revivals in the late 1940s in Los Angeles. But 40 years prior to this, there was a man named Reverend J.L. Griffin, a black evangelist who came to the city and who preached to a multi-ethnic congregation. As a matter of fact, right here in Echo Park Lake, on the banks of the lake, he preached and he ended up baptizing people who were African-American as well as Anglo-American. And it's interesting to note that the Los Angeles Herald, the paper at that time for the city, had a headline that read, Negro Evangelist Preaches to Whites, as if that was some incredibly unusual thing. It's not in the history of Christianity. However, it was at that time in the city of Los Angeles. And there's a funny story uh, from that event where there were some youth that rented a boat just like we have today, went out to heckle the reverend to the point that the reverend finally said to them, you boys better stop doing that or you're going to receive a different kind of baptism. And I say, you go, Reverend Griffin. Now there's another story just in that direction uh, related to the Angelus Temple. And it tells a similar story of the power of Christianity to bring people together. Many of us have heard of Amy Simple McPherson, and she was the pastor of that congregation in the 1920s. And just think of that, a woman pastor of a congregation in 1920s Los Angeles. But on top of that, she had a multi-ethnic congregation, people that were African-American, Mexican immigrants, Anglos uh, from different nations, and they all came together to worship as one community in the city of Los Angeles. So you'll hear about all kinds of stories like this. If you look at the book and begin to read from God in La La Land, I think you're going to find, as I did in researching it, that there's all sorts of stories that inspire you to think beyond the box uh, of the day, that to think differently and creatively about what's possible in your own life and what's possible in your own city. Thanks so much.